South Korea is building the world's first floating city. As the climate crisis worsens, the Earth's sea levels are constantly rising, threatening to submerge coastal cities worldwide. South Korea could suffer immensely due to being surrounded by water with a two 413-kilometer coastline. Faced with this crisis, South Korea's ambitious response was to plan Oceanics Busan, an expensive floating metropolis in Busan that could eventually house 100,000 people. Oceanics Busan aims to be the world's first full-scale sustainable floating city, designed to adapt and thrive as sea levels continue to rise rather than being submerged. This pioneering concept could pave the way for other coastal nations to develop similar floating urban solutions in the future. Oceanics Busan will be the world's first full-scale floating city if completed as envisioned. It's expected to be ready before 2030, when Busan hopes to host the World Expo. This groundbreaking city concept could inspire other nations to develop floating cities to adapt to rising seas. The data on rising sea levels is quite alarming. Global sea levels have already risen eight, nine inches, and could rise another foot by 2050. Two out of five people live within 62 miles of a coast, and 90% of megacities are vulnerable, according to the UN. The future looks bleak, with coastal areas home to 300 million people projected to flood yearly after 2050. Entire nations like the Maldives and Marshall Islands could be completely submerged if sea rise continues unabated. One of those vulnerable areas is Busan, South Korea's second largest city with 3.47 million residents. As the country's biggest port historically plagued by flooding, Busan was selected to build Oceanics Busan to adapt to rising seas instead of being submerged. The very existence of Busan and South Korea's critical economic shipping infrastructure could be at risk from the accelerating pace of rising ocean levels in the coming decades. Theoretically, this 60 square meter floating city will have three hexagonal modular platforms housing an initial population of 900, with 300 in a pilot project testing liveability and sustainability as a living lab. If proven self-sufficient, it could expand to 100,000 residents. The floating platforms with regenerative surfaces will bridge to land, using marine life-friendly materials to create habitats filtering polluted port water. Powered by renewables with integrated urban farming and water systems, it will ban combustion vehicles and have sustainable residential commercial spaces. Beyond housing, Oceanics Busan includes research areas studying technologies for other vulnerable coastal regions, helping combat the global climate crisis. It's backed by an impressive team, Barex Angles Group Architects, Samsung's SU, Oceanics Floating Structure Specialists, and the UN Human Settlements Program. However, major technical details are unknown. In mid-2023, a spokesperson said it was still in early planning to assess construction, permitting, and feasibility, with the $600 million budget just an estimate. Crucial questions remain unanswered about the complex engineering required to build a floating city of this scale without disrupting the marine environment. Construction is set for 2025 to 2028, if Busan wins the bid to host World Expo 2030 against rivals like Rome and Riyadh. If selected, South Korea will invest $5.73 billion, an 855% budget increase, also renovating Busan's port infrastructure. While the ambitious vision sounds promising, the lack of technical details is concerning. Most engineering aspects and ecosystem impact plans are still undocumented. The majority of specifics on actually building and maintaining this floating city without harming the local marine environment have not been released. Overcoming these major technical and environmental hurdles will be one of the biggest challenges in realizing Oceanics Busan. How will the massive floating platforms be constructed and kept stable and secure? What systems will be used to provide energy, 
dispose of waste, and circulate air and water. How can the construction process avoid damaging precious coastal ecology? Concrete answers are still lacking. Oceanics Busan represents South Korea's bold gambit in developing the world's first sustainable floating city to adapt to rising seas. Following efforts like the Dutch movable flood barrier and Indonesia building a new capital to replace sinking Jakarta. But will it inspire other coastal nations to pursue their unique floating city solutions? While floating on water may seem like science fiction, the concept itself isn't new. There have been multiple previous initiatives envisioning expanding cities into the sea on artificial floating islands, though they lacked enough detail to be realized. According to its developers, what separates Oceanics Busan is its partnership with the UN as a specific solution to relocate people displaced by rising seas, akin to Saudi Arabia's planned desert water metropolis, Naom Oxyx. It has already inspired discussions of floating cities in other threatened nations like Malaysia and Japan. But is engineering massive, self-sustaining floating cities even feasible? According to experts, we have the technology to build long-lasting floating structures. The key challenge is selecting a protected coastal location to avoid complex legal issues of international waters. Pulling this off will require innovative solutions navigating uncharted waters of maritime law and policies around these human-made sea territories. What laws and regulatory frameworks will govern a floating city? How will nations extend sovereignty, property rights, and public services to them? These are just some of the legal and political complexities looming over the future of floating cities. Only time will tell if Oceanics Busan overcomes all its hurdles. But Samsung's backing and the real human need driving it provide reasons for optimism about its likelihood of happening. The project's success or failure will set a crucial precedent shaping how humanity addresses the growing crisis of rising sea levels, displacing coastal populations worldwide. Seasteading, the concept of establishing permanent human settlements on the ocean, has been a dream for decades, but has faced major obstacles. If Oceanics Busan can pull it off successfully, it could open the floodgates for other ambitious marine urbanization projects around the globe. Entire new industries and economies may emerge building, operating, and maintaining these floating human habitats. At the same time, failures or unintended consequences in Oceanics Busan's execution could set back the seasteading movement significantly. Environmental damage, technical failures, or any human casualties would be a major black eye that could scuttle public acceptance of oceanic cities for years to come. The stakes are extremely high for this pioneering prototype. Preparations to test its livability are already underway. The New York Times reported that 54 families of 162 people have volunteered to live in the first residential modules for three years, sharing data on everything from sleep patterns to energy use and waste for analysis. The residents were carefully selected to represent a model sustainable community diverse in age, background, and skills essentially becoming the human components of a living laboratory to validate if the entire concept is viable long-term. With principles of clean energy, environmental rejuvenation, marine preservation, and next-gen blue economics unified Oceanics Busan is an unprecedented prototype for how human habitats may need to evolve to withstand rising seas. If successful, it could profoundly impact our vision of sustainable metropolitan living. So, what's your assessment? Could visionary floating cities provide a viable long-term solution for the billions threatened by rising oceans from climate change? Or is this an idealistic experiment unlikely to manifest into realistic, mass-scale living? Share your perspectives below and if you found this video insightful, please like and subscribe to support more in-depth explorations into society's boldest innovative solutions.